So Steve, thank you for coming to Southwest Ethiopia. You took time out of your busy schedule to come here to see for yourself what was going on and, and to photograph uh, these people and these, and these various tribes and their cultures. To raise awareness for Omo Child, our organization that uh, has a home in Jinka that cares for children that have been rescued from the belief that certain children are either born cursed or become cursed because they're born out of wedlock, the mother's not married, because a, a married couple hasn't been blessed by the elders. <laughs> Or maybe a child, their teeth first appear from the top gum instead of the bottom gum, they're killed. So I just wanted to talk to you this morning about your observations, kind of what you've seen and what you feel. What are your thoughts so far? I, I think it's been a, an incredible trip to see how people live in this part of Ethiopia, to see how uh, Omar Child has been able to uh, make a big difference in the lives of the, these, these people here. Um, and to actually spend time with these people uh, and to, to see, uh, actually, I think the more time you spend with people, you actually start to get to know them and understand their culture a little bit and to uh, see them as real people and not as, a, as kind of a tourist sort of riding through. I think that what, we, what we're witnessing, what we're seeing now, in the next sort of maybe generation, is going to change uh, dramatically. I mean, we're seeing now is a slow move to, you know, track suits and Chinese mm. clothes, and and the hairstyle is going to change. And pretty soon they're going to look like everybody else. A lot of their traditional ways uh, will be lost. You know, you've traveled all over the world. You photograph many people in many places. It was my love of photography. I've been a photographer my whole life. I've admired your work for a long, long time. Not only the Afghan girl, which of course is so iconic and so many people know, but your work in Tibet, and, and your work in Burma, and your work in, in India. How does this sort of fit in to your experience? I think the quality of life here is quite high. It's much more kind of basic, and it's maybe some of the mo more fundamental things in life. Last night we went to this um, uh, tribal event where they dance in this very kind of traditional way, and that was, I think, a, a very kind of profound experience. It demonstrates that you can have a, a wonderful life with friends and family uh, and do it in a very simple way. Kind of measure somebody's sort of uh, wealth or their the, the quality of life that they have. <laughs> things are really reduced to the important things in life: friends, family. I think that um, it's uh, the, the way perhaps it should be. We're on the Omo River, Deuce Village. The Kara people and their villages are up and down the river all around us. What 
did you find most interesting? What, what sort of piqued your artistic, your creative, your photographic interest while, while you've been here? Visually for me, I think it was photographing the people, portraits of how these people were, how they dressed. They, were, they, were, they had a great style, even though they're kind of disconnected from sort of newspapers and magazines, uh, there's still this innate sense of style and fashion and flair, the way they have their hair, their beads. Uh, so I, to me, that uniqueness that makes them absolutely special was what visually I think was the most interesting. There's no people like this in the world. I mean, they're absolutely unique. At this point in your career as a photographer, you're obviously doing things that have a humanitarian uh, component. What kind of responsibility do you think photographers like yourself have? For me, I've always been, I've had a fascination with cultures and this uh, transition from culture which has developed over thousands of years to a transition to modernity where things can change in a generation, all within a matter of a few years gets turned on its head. And I, what I've been interested in doing is to try and document cultures before they're lost forever. To have some memory of that, I think is important. And to be able to, at least if the, the culture's lost, at least we have some record that it existed at one time. this is nice.